Octopus Protests by Sweet Pickles. One morning, Octopus packed a bunch of flags in her flag bag. Then she went out to see what she could do to make her town a better place to live in. As she walked past the park, Octopus saw Alligator, Nightingale, Jackal, and Dog playing tag. Suddenly, there was a loud cry. Ouch! Help! Arg! Arg! Octopus hurried to see what was the matter. Everyone was piled up on top of Dog. Jackal was kicking him, Alligator was punching, Nightingale was pinching, and from underneath, Dog was crying for help. Let me go, he cried. Get off me! We're only playing tag, snickered Nightingale. Stop yelling! Oh, no, 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 cried Octopus, waving each for eight arms. That's no way to play tag. You're playing dirty, and I protest. She pulled a flag out of her bag. The flag said, Say no to playing dirty. Get off dog this minute, cried Octopus, waving her flag. It's outrageous. You're supposed to tap him on the back, not jump on him. It's only a game, yelled Alligator. That's what they all say when big guys pick on little guys, said Octopus. Now get dog out from under. Nah, mind your own business, screeched Nightingale. This is my business, cried Octopus. When I see bullies, I protest. I want this town to be a better place to live in. Octopus pulled another flag out of her bag. The flag said, say no to bullies. Then, with her six free arms, Octopus pulled Dog up. Hey, yelled Jackal, that's not fair. Ha, sniffed Octopus, look who's talking about being fair. You're always ru ruining our games, accused Alligator. They all jumped up and ran away. Then Octopus put an arm around Dog. Listen, Dog, she said, don't play with those rascals. Next time they ask you, just say no. No, whined Dog. I don't know how. But you always end up at the bottom of the pile, protested Octopus. You are always the underdog. You have to do something about it. I doubt there's anything I can do, panted Dog. They scare me. Don't be afraid, cried Octopus. She pulled more flags out of her bag. They said, say no to rascals. Say no to bad guys. Say no to fear. Then Octopus called. Come on, Dog. I'll show you what we can do. Let's go find them. She grabbed Dog by the collar and marched him down the path. They went out of the park. Octopus looked up and down the street. Then she saw them. They were down at the corner, squirting red spray paint all over the sidewalk. Okay, said Octopus, this is our chance. She pulled Dog toward the corner. Well, look who's here, said Jackal. If it is an old eight arms, snickered Nightingale. Octopus took a deep breath. We have something to say to you, she said. But out, snickered Nightingale. You two can get into a lot of trouble. Yes, said Jackal. You could get bopped like this. Jackal swung around to show them and accidentally bopped Alligator right on the tail. Ouch! cried Alligator. Or, jeered Nightingale, you could get hit like this. She swung around to show them and accidentally smacked Jackal right on the back. Yow! groaned Jackal. Or someone could trip you like this, yelled Alligator. She turned around to show them and accidentally tripped Nightingale and Jackal. They all fell down. Octopus looked at them and smiled. You can't scare me, she said. Oh no, muttered Alligator. Everyone is scared of us, growled Jackal. We're tough. Slowly, Octopus put down the flags she was holding. 
ha ha, giggled Nightingale. You are afraid of us. Admit it. Aren't you afraid? Octopus reached in her flag bag and pulled out the biggest flag of all. Using all of her eight arms at once, she wrapped the flag around Nightingale, Alligator, and Jackal. The flag said, no. An octopus lives right here. She even has an octopus-shaped swimming pool.